Don't just watch the video, support the growth of this channel. Subscribe and click the notification bell to get updated in our next video. Do it now! The red jungle fowl, or Gallus gallus, is the primary ancestor of the domestic chicken, or Gallus gallus domesticus. The grey jungle fowl, Sri Lankan jungle fowl, and green jungle fowl are likely to be also involved in the creation of the modern table bird. The green jungle fowl may be familiar to some, but the grey jungle fowl, the Sri Lankan jungle fowl, no. I personally have never heard of them. Join me as we dive into these four living species of the bird genus Gallus and find out more about the beautiful, the exotic, and the wild jungle fowls. The Red Jungle Fowl <coughs> The Red Jungle Fowl or Gallus Gallus is a tropical member of the pheasant family. It is thought to be ancestral to the domestic chicken, with some hybridization with the grey jungle fowl. The red jungle fowl was first domesticated at least 5,000 years ago in Asia, then taken around the world, and the domestic form is kept globally as a very productive food source of both meat and eggs. The range of the wild form stretches from Tamil Nadu, South India, where it has almost certainly been diluted with crossbreeding from domestic breeds, eastwards across southern China and into Malaysia, the Philippines, where it is locally known as Labuyo, and Indonesia. Jungle fowl are established in several of the Hawaiian islands, but these are feral descendants of domestic chickens. They can also be found on Christmas Island and the Marianas. Male and female birds show very strong sexual dimorphism. Males are much larger, they have large red fleshy wattles and comb of the head, and long, bright golden bronze feathers forming a shawl, or cape, over the back of the bird from the neck to the lower back. The tail is composed of long, arching feathers that initially look black, but shimmer with blue, purple, and green in good light. The female's plumage is typical of this family of birds in being cryptic, and having evolved for camouflage as she alone looks after the eggs and chicks. She also has no fleshy wattles or comb on the head. Flight in these birds is almost purely confined to reaching the roosting areas at sunset, in trees, or any other high and relatively safe places free from ground predators, and for escape from immediate danger throughout the day. Purebred red jungle fowl are thought to be facing a serious threat of extinction because of hybridization at the edge of forests where domesticated free-ranging chickens are common. The Grey Jungle Fowl The Grey Jungle Fowl, Gallus cinerati, also known as Cinerat's jungle fowl, is a wild relative of domestic fowl that is endemic to India. This species is found mainly in peninsular India, and where it overlaps with the distribution of the red jungle fowl, it is known to form hybrids. The calls are loud and distinctive, and they are hunted for meat and the long neck hackle feathers that are sought after for making fishing lures. The male has a black cape with ochre spots, and the body plumage and a grey ground colour is finely patterned. The elongated neck feathers are dark and end in a small, hard, yellowish plate, this peculiar structure making them popular for making high-grade artificial flies. The male has red wattles and combs, but not as strongly developed as in the red jungle fowl. Legs of males are red and have spurs, while the yellow legs of females usually lack spurs. The central tail feathers are long and sickle-shaped. Males have an eclipse plumage in which they molt their colourful neck feathers in summer, during or after the breeding season. The female is duller and has black and white streaking on the underparts and yellow legs. They breed from February to May. 
They lay four to seven eggs which are pale cream in colour and hatch in about 21 days. Although mostly seen on the ground, grey jungle fowl fly into trees to escape predators and to roost. They feed on grains including bamboo seeds, berries, insects and termites. If you're still watching this video, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. Thank you. The Sri Lankan Jungle Fowl The Sri Lankan Jungle Fowl, or Gallus lofietti, also known during the colonial era as the Ceylon Jungle Fowl, is endemic to Sri Lanka, where it is the national bird. It is closely related to the red jungle fowl, the wild jungle fowl from which the chicken was domesticated. As with other jungle fowl, the Sri Lankan jungle fowl is strongly sexually dimorphic. The male is much larger than the female, with more vivid plumage and a highly exaggerated wattle and comb. The male Sri Lankan jungle fowl has orange-red body plumage, and dark purple to black wings and tail. The feathers of the mane descending from head to base of spine are golden, and the face has bare red skin and wattles. The comb is red with a yellow center. The female is much smaller, with dull brown plumage with white patterning on the lower belly and breast, ideal camouflage for a nesting bird. The Sri Lankan jungle fowl is most closely related to the grey jungle fowl, though physically the male resembles the red jungle fowl more. Female Sri Lankan jungle fowls are very similar to those of the grey jungle fowl. As with other jungle fowl, Sri Lankan jungle fowl are primarily terrestrial. It spends most of its time foraging for food by scratching the ground for various seeds, fallen fruit, and insects. It lays two to four eggs in a nest either on the forest floor, in steep hill country, or in the abandoned nests of other birds and squirrels. Like the grey and green jungle fowl, male Sri Lankan jungle fowls play an active role in nest protection and chick rearing. The reproductive strategy of this species is best described as facultative polyandry in that a single female is typically linked with two or three males that form a pride of sorts. These males are likely to be siblings. The female pairs with the alpha male of the pride and nests high off the ground. Her eggs are highly variable in colour but generally are cream with a yellow or pink tint. Purple or brownish spots are common. Occasionally, a female will produce red eggs or blotched eggs. The hen incubates her eggs, while the alpha male guards her nest from a nearby perch during the nesting season. The beta males remain in close proximity as well, guarding the nesting territory from intruders or potential predators, such as rival males or snakes and mongooses. Sri Lankan jungle fowl are unique amongst the jungle fowl in the brevity of their incubation, which may be as short as 20 days as contrasted with 21 to 26 days of the green jungle fowl. The chicks, and to a slightly lesser extent the adults, are incapable of utilizing vegetable-based proteins and fats. Their dietary requirements cannot be met with commercial processed food materials. As a result, they are exceedingly rare in captivity. The Green Jungle Fowl The Green Jungle Fowl, or Gallus varius, also known as Javan Jungle Fowl, Forktail Jungle Fowl, or Green Javanese Jungle Fowl, is a medium sized, up to 75cm long bird in the pheasant family Phasianidae. The coloration of the green jungle fowl is sexually dichromatic. The male's plumage is dark and blackish at a distance. A closer view will reveal an iridescent mantle of gleaming scales, 
reminiscent in colour and pattern to those seen in the oscillated turkey and green peafowl. Each scale is vivid blue at its base and moves through various shades of gold and bronze green. Specialised plumes framing the throat of the male green jungle fowl are highly light reflective and appear violet at the proximal and sky blue at the distal edges. The lesser coverts of the wing are a striking burnt orange with bronzed black centres. The distal edges of the greater secondary coverts are vivid ochre. Like its cousin the red jungle fowl, the breast and ventral regions are a dense light absorbing black. Like its closer relative, the Ceylon jungle fowl, the male green jungle fowl exhibits vivid windows of bare facial skin that contrast against the dark scarlet red of the face. The green jungle fowl exhibits an ice blue centre in its comb. Its wattle is also of the same colour, but is bordered with blue on the edges and yellow closer to the throat. The female is mostly brown with occasional green feathers and has no comb. The green jungle fowl is endemic to Java, Bali, Lombok, Komodo, Flores, Rinka and small islands linking Java with Flores, Indonesia. The green jungle fowl usually lives in groups of two to five in the wild, led by a dominant male who takes the flock to feed and drink and then back into the cover of the forest. In the night, the flock roosts in bamboo stands at 15 to 20 feet above the forest floor. In the breeding season, the dominant males in each flock are challenged by other males without flocks. The green jungle fowl is being maintained and increasingly bred in captivity as its genetic diversity is disappearing. This is because these birds are bred with domestic chickens by many people producing a hybrid known as the Bekisar. The captive green jungle fowl requires warm aviaries with lots of foliage and cover due to their shy nature and are fed with grains and seeds, as well as fruit and insects as these are the same type of food they would feed on in the wild. This bird has also been known for a long time as a pet animal because of its beauty and unique call. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and click the notification bell. Thank you for watching Breed and Focus.